the Queen's decision to issue a statement in which she clearly voiced her wish for Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, to one day be known as Queen Consort was the most controversial remark she ever expressed during her reign, according to a royal author. Royal commentator Brian Hoey highlighted just how groundbreaking was the Queen's statement issued on the eve of her 70th anniversary of Accession Day. The monarch, he said, has been a unifying force throughout her reign, a strength that has helped keep the monarchy and the country together during difficult periods. However, by clearly stating her support for the Queen Consort title for Camilla, she took a clear and potentially divisive stance. Royal commentator Mr. Hoey told Express.co.uk, it was the most controversial remark or opinion that anyone has heard the Queen utter. Because so many people even today still disagree with the opinion that Camilla should be Queen. But people are warming towards her and it's a division of generations. Young people don't care, divorce is commonplace in Britain at the moment, younger people just think why shouldn't she be Queen? It's the older generation who still have reservations about this. Speaking about the decision to make a similar announcement, Mr. Hoey continued, I don't think it was done on the spur of the moment, nothing is ever done on the spur of the moment with the royal household. I think this decision was taken some years ago quite frankly, and quite rightly because like any other noble woman Camilla would have legally taken the rank of her husband. In the UK and probably throughout the world, there is still a big division between the Diana camp and the Camilla camp. Camilla is still vilified by a number of people for what they believe is the breakup of the Wales's marriage. But one has to admit that Camilla has behaved impeccably since 2005 when she married the Prince of Wales. Mr. Hoey added the Duchess, by law, was always going to be the Queen Consort during Prince Charles's reign. In the late hours of February 5th, Buckingham Palace shared a lengthy message penned by the monarch, which she signed off as your servant. In it, she expressed her gratitude for the support shown her by the country and the Commonwealth as well as her family. She paid tribute to Prince Philip, passed away in April, and expressed how important the role of royal consort is to a sovereign. The Queen then said, I remain eternally grateful for, and humbled by, the loyalty and affection that you continue to give me. And when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and it is my sincere wish that, when the time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service. In November, the majority of the country appeared to still be against the idea of seeing Camilla be crowned Queen Consort after Prince Charles accedes to the throne. A YouGov poll showed on November 11 only 14% of the adults surveyed said they wanted the Duchess to become Queen Consort in the future, while 42% would prefer her to assume the title of Princess Consort announced by Clarence House in 2005. And 26% said they would prefer not to see her bearing any title at all. Some social media users erupted following the Queen's statement in February, stating they respected the Queen but would not back this decision. However, the monarch's words may have brought many people over as a poll carried out by JL Partners for the Daily Mail on February 8 showed a jump in the support for Camilla bearing the Queen Consort title. Among the 1,054 UK adults surveyed, 55% of Britons said to approve Camilla taking on the title of Queen Consort in the future, almost double the 28% opposed. However, 58% of those polled replied Princess Diana to the question of who would have made a better queen between the late Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, chosen by 16%.